Hey guys, what's up and welcome to week eight of building Kashyyyk in Lego. In today's video, it's all about building the battleground and beginning much more of the beach, getting all these small battle details and even more Wookiee barriers into the fray. Now this week we're gonna get a lot of progress done, but just give y'all a warning, I only had two days to work on it this week, so I'm gonna get as much done as I possibly can. But we made some amazing progress this week nonetheless, including a absolutely massive order of Bricklink parts with thousands of pieces to actually finish off the entire beach. Let's get into it. To start us off, for anybody that actually is new and hasn't seen any of the progress we made in the past seven weeks, we've made a lot of progress on the beach as you've seen here, and it's pretty large going across this entire table as well as last week we started the Wookiee Pillars, we'll get into those much later on, and as well as built a bunch of trenches, Wookiee barriers, all sorts of stuff, but we see we have a ton of work to do that we're gonna get starting on this week. And then also, we've also built the massive Wookiee tree that's going to be, or at least try to be six feet tall, but we've made a lot of progress with that, with the root pieces scaling all the way into the beach. And then our, of course, our ton of Wookiees there. But yeah, this is all that we've made in the past seven weeks. And I'm really happy of how the Battle of Kashyyyk is turning out. But again, we have much more to get to, including all these parts. Now, all these parts, I got two major packages. Now these packages come from two different sellers and it's really packed them well. And the first package here is a, a 1500 two by four tile pieces. This will allow us to make even more progress on the beach because I am mainly, mainly doing like a tile look for the beach as you've seen there. And as well as also got a little smaller package of pieces being one by one plates and one by one tiles to give some more like accent pieces to really capture more detail. Now, this one is the massive one. I got a, about a thousand of these wedge pieces here. And is this, this watch right here, like pouring them all into this nice clear bin, nothing's more satisfying in my opinion, just like getting all your pieces out for them into a bin. It turned out so well, and I'm really happy with how much I got these for. Like I got them for like pretty cheap, and it's gonna allow us to get much uh, more diverse and different angles uh, into the actual mock itself. And as well, we have these massive boys, these massive wedge pieces right here. We have like 300 of them. And I got them for like a less than a cent a piece for the, and for the like size of these that they are. I was just really happy I got these. And these gonna allow us to build like a massive like heels into the, the sand itself. Uh, again, giving us much more variety of wedge pieces. And here they are, just really big chunky boys, which is gonna be super cool to include it in the build today. And then I have a smaller little order here of like these smaller wedge pieces that are gonna give kind of more uh, sharper angles. And as well, these bad boys right here, which actually are quite different. They have kind of a, a sharp end, like a squared end to them. So we'll definitely use those in the mock. So to start off this week, we're gonna begin to actually work near the tree since the tree is like the highest elevation of uh, at least my part of the build of Kashyyyk. I'm gonna have to build the first initial slope pieces that are gonna be on like a angled. So the tree is gonna be up on like the hill and it's gonna give it the tree a nice effect of being taller than the rest of the mock, which I uh, had a really fun doing this. I kind of tiled off the beginningness of there where all the Wookiee huts will be and then started the shape off. Now this was kind of difficult to shape everything out, but I nonetheless figured it out and started tiling more of like the, where the hill piece would be, where the two Wookiee huts are gonna be either marked off right here. As uh, we made a Wookiee hut earlier in the mock series, but I think I'm gonna make a different technique with these. We'll get to later, really happy with that. And here's a closer look on like the beachy hill that I've created for the actual wedge pieces, which I think turned out quite well. Um, I might not make the angles so sharp as you see right there, but overall I like the effect of like where the sand kind of looks a little more roughed up than the like a a tile that I'm using. Uh, Cause it just, I really like the effect that I'm really capturing with the sand and, and then just really captured a nice effect 
Um, but I'm really happy with this is how it turned out. Again, we're going to build more Wookiee uh, huts. There's going to be like two right there. And I think I'm going to build at least one or two more uh, to the uh, actually side of it. But you can kind of see there's a little large angle of where that turned out. But we need to start uh, building out the one of the last trenches of the mock. Now, this is going to be a smaller trench that's closer to the hill that we just made. And uh, it's going to be quite interesting. I just kind of shaped it out a little bit. I'm not actually going to uh, finish it today because I'm still waiting on some pieces to finish out those details. Now, it's time to use all of our wedge pieces to actually... Uh, get the shape of how we want everything to turn out as you can see from previous episodes i put a bunch of like two by two bricks kind of giving the general layout but now we have to go through and add all of our new wedge pieces to really get the shape and the overall look of how we want like the different like sand hills and this slight elevation that it goes on and then we also need to start building up the right side of the beach since this is kind of a side that we've been really working on a ton re recently with the uh, trench on the upper part there as you can see and then we're finally going to get this figured out with a bunch of different damage areas which i'm really happy with as you see right here we have kind of completed this side of the beach finally and it's really turning out super cool i'm so excited about this i love that we have all the new angles for the wedges and this allows us to make some really detailed craters where a lot of the blaster fire will be impacting the sand as you can see there i put a black two by two plate i'll definitely have some more black pieces that are that we've done from previous explosions where we have a lot of the charred sand here's another impact we're gonna have a big explosion and i really like the effect that really turned out or maybe you have like some clones hiding in one of them or something like that but here's a view from our little uh, platforms that we've made and uh, i really liked how the right side of the mock has turned out with the trench and the wookie barriers uh, it's just really making uh, the battle of kashyyyk make a much more sense here and then now it's time to actually fulfill and build the rest of the next layer now as you can see i've been working on the mock layer by layer and this is a big layer that we have to work on here it's going spanning all the way across the mock and all the way to the other side of the tree which is consuming a bunch of different tile pieces and different plates and different explosion pieces and stuff like that to really kind of capture the effect of this so it definitely took me quite a bit of time and especially i gotta reach over the table i really gotta figure out a better way to build that but um here also are the different spots we're gonna have the actually main wookie barrier as you can see, I'm going to place these here just to give an idea of how I want to build the rest of it. Uh, and specifically, here's all the, actually the Wookiee Bears that we made in the previous weeks. Now, this is going to be the main one where you actually see the uh, Wookiee Warrior jumping on top and then leading all like the hundreds of Wookiees into battle. And here's all the progress we've made from that time lapse. And the beach is just in the battlefront specifically is just coming together so well i really love how the wookie barrier is looking in front i put a bunch of wookies there there's some kind of more explosions and battered sand in the front and i put a lot of those jumper plates on the behind it because we're gonna have a ton of wookies in the back this is just the beginning of it i just want to give you all a quick look at how that turned out and then i put some corporate alliance tanks as well as see where those tread pieces were and then the more explosions in the ground using more of those wedge piece effects. I really liked how that turned out. And then there's our custom Corpus Alliance tanks there uh, with the spider droid kind of giving you all just a little bit of a tease of how this is going to look when we get the final product done. That's one of my favorite things to do is just kind of test out what it's going to look like, kind of put some mini figures down, a few vehicles, kind of giving me shaping. But that is what we've made this week and like two days of work. And I'm really happy how all of our new wedge pieces and tiles turned out for the beach and the battlefront uh, because the big battle will be taking place here soon. And this is where the main battle course will be taking place on the beach. And with the Wookiee barriers finally in place there with all the Wookiees. Oh, it's looking so amazing, guys. And let me know down below what y'all think and what I should maybe add in the future for our Kashyyyk mock here. Um, and then I'm, I'm not gonna be planning on using really the play set uh, Corbin Lion tanks you see there, but if those don't bother y'all, I might use those as well as this kind of supplementary because I do wanna make more custom ones. But that is gonna do it for this week of building Kashyyyk and Lego. Hope y'all really enjoyed this week, but let's go out to the outro and talk about what we're gonna do next.
And guys, that is it for week eight of building Kashyyyk in Lego. Hope y'all enjoyed the progress I've made on the mock thus far. I really am happy with what we've done and we're gonna keep continuing to work on the beach next week. I need to get some, a uh, little bit more like plates and stuff to finish it off, but but it's just really looking like the Battle of Kashyyyk from Revenge of the Sith, which is just, every time I look and go in my room and just look at it, it's just like really amazing to me. And we still have so much more to do. And guys, just real fast, I know this is kind of different, uh, from like usually just talking about building Kashyyyk and Lego, but I just want to let y'all know that if y'all are going through anything right or anything If y'all are going through anything that's really t troubling right now or just really tough for you Just remember I'm, I'm always here for y'all if y'all want to hit me in my DMs or my Insta or my comments or whatever I'm always here to like be helpful to y'all because I know that some things sometimes things can be troubling I know because I know life can be tough sometimes and I really want to create a community where we can all really be friends and take care of each other Even when times are kind of tough, but yeah guys. Thank you so much for watching this week I hope you have a great and blessed day everyone. Peace out